Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I want to talk about things that can help during this um, ADHD medication um, shortage, because over the last few months, it's been happening over the last couple of years, but over the last few months, it has gotten so much worse where we know a lot of people who need ADHD medication have had to go without and to ration and it's been a lot. So today I want to talk about five things that you can do that may be able to help. But before I get into that, I want to take a quick moment and say if you are subscribed, thank you so much for being a part of our awesome world. If you're not yet subscribed, please take a moment and click the subscribe button below so you can join all this awesomeness. And remember to tick the bell so you are notified when I post new videos so you don't miss anything. And of course, if you'd like to purchase one or three of my books, also a link below that will take you to a site that shows you all your different options of where you could get one or three of my books. Okay. The first is to work on your diet, a natural, more organic diet. I always talk about how what you feed your body makes a difference on how it performs, where taking the time to um, invest in a more natural diet and a more organic diet did help people have better results, especially as people attempted to either reduce or get off their medication. So when you are in this space, when we, whether it is, um, I guess at this point, it's not necessarily a choice of you wanting to get um, off your medication, but if the medication is not available, taking the time to um, consume a more organic, a more natural um, diet can be helpful. And one of both in the quality of the food that you're taking in, it also allows you to be more in control of the things that you consume. Because when you are fit, um, putting it together, when you are picking and choosing and creating your meals, then you have more choice on or more um, authority in making the decision of, hey, I am putting this in my body. You know what you can, what you will put and you get to exclude the things that you know are not necessarily beneficial for you. So a, a more natural, more organic diet is helpful. The second, of course, is exercise. You know how much I talk about exercise, how much I love exercise because it has a lot of benefits from the physical physical um, benefits to the dopamine release that is very helpful. And the it, exercise helps with executive functioning, which as you're not having the, um, what do you call it? When you're not having the medication to help you with that, exercise can be a useful tool to help you do that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, an hour or 30 minute workout. Sometimes the exercise that you get in your breaks can be very helpful. Um, I, you know, with um, planning, I often talk about, you know, taking breaks throughout your, um, in the middle of your day or throughout your day. During those, maybe you go for a walk, maybe you do something, um, something physical that can be helpful. Um, and sometimes just taking the moment to just go for a walk that can help with releasing, um, uh, with jitters, some, or, and it can have some also very calming benefits. So exercise is my second recommendation. The third thing is to adjust your schedule plan organization system, also known as the SPOS, adjust your SPOS be, um, for the current time, because your schedule plan organization system was developed or has been worked out for your uh, medicated self. You were using it when you had the medication to help you. So now that if you have to reduce or don't have access to your medication, you need to reorganize your system so that it fits where you are now. So when you don't have your medication, maybe you have a shorter um, period that, uh, that you can focus. Make sure that you are working with that instead of um, attempting to fit the non-medicated you into the system that was developed for the medicated you. You need a system that works for you today, that works for you in your current situation. So take some time, make some adjustments based on what you are experiencing, which of course brings me to the next one of work within your, in your own window. Your own window, as I describe it, is that period, that of time that you're able to do things Depending on the person, your own window could be 15 minutes or your own window could be 40, could be a whole 30 or 45 minutes. Work with that. 
Stop trying to make yourself be what society or someone else has convinced you you need to be. If your own window is 15 minutes, work in 15 minute break uh, blocks. Work 15 minutes, then take a five or 10 minute break because it is so much easier to work with it, with your own window in the time that you ha- know you have than to try to convince or try to make yourself, try to conform to something that it, you can spend 15 minutes working and then take a, take a break and then come back and work 15 minutes and then take another break. If you take two 15 minute breaks in an hour and work two 15 minutes, you get 30 minutes of work done. But if your own window is 15 minutes and you want to go for 30 or an hour, you will spend 15, you will get 15 minutes of good productive work. And then you can spend the next three hours trying to get yourself to work um, more, but it's not going to, it's going to be a waste of your energy and it gonna, it's going to add to your frustration. So figure out what your own window is and work within that own window. You do it. You, if it's 15 minutes, you put in your 15 minutes, you take a break. Maybe you go for a walk. Maybe you talk to somebody. Of course, remember, use um, um, timers and alarms so that you can come back from your breaks, but work with your own window. And uh, finally, outsource what you can. One of the things that you, ha- um, that, we, that you deal with is having too much to do can sometimes be too much. So things that you can get others to do, get them to do. It, to do them. If it is not something that has to be done by you and there is another option, use that other option. Um, for instance, I, I talk about eating healthy, eating more organic, natural foods, and that is time consuming because you have to prepare it. You have to shop for it. You have to prepare it. Is this something that someone else can assist you with? Even if um, I am team um, curbside, I will sit at my desk and or I'll or wherever and using my phone I'll open the store app and I'll do my grocery shopping there it at le- then someone does the grocery shopping packs it up and I have to bring it in maybe you need to go a step further where you have someone who comes in and delivers the food and then washes your grapes and put them in the fridge whatever you are able that your resources allow you to outsource outsource those things that way you can save the energy, you can save the time that you have to focus on the things that cannot be outsourced. If you can get someone else to do grocery shopping, let someone else do grocery shopping. That way you have time to do, I don't know, homework, take care of the kids or work on that report that you have due for work. Whatever you need to do, make sure you outsource where you can so that you can have time to do the things you need to do, the things that have to be done by you. Quick recap. One, use more natural, more organic foods to fuel your body and because not only does it help with the fuel, it also allows you to be more in control of the things that you are putting on your body. It allows you to choose to exercise because of the dopamine, because it helps with executive functioning, because it helps with calming, because it helps with the jitters. Exercise is awesome. Three, um, adjust your schedule plan organization system because the one you have was probably created for your medicated self. And now that you have to your medications are adjusted, you may need to adjust the plan to fit the new lower medicated or unmedicated self. Um, For work with your own window, because it is so much more productive to work two 15 minute breaks or two 15 minute blocks or whatever your own window is than to try to convince yourself or force yourself to work longer than your body actually is willing to do. And finally, outsource whatever you can outsource. Because when you let other people do the things that don't have to be done by you, you allow yourself more time to do the things that have to be done by you. As always, if you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, please remember that there are professionals like myself who are available, able, and willing to help and are even providing remote services who can assist with whatever you may have going on. So please figure out who those people are in your community so that if you need to, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.